Hollywood, California, home to the biggest, best, and most extravagant motion picture studios. From the days of old, the sun-drenched spectacle of wealthy movie stars, glamorous fashion, and century-spanning entertainment has dazzled and amazed the eyes of the world. It is here, in the heart of the motion picture industry, that U.S. Pictures, sister company to Birmingham, Alabama-based U.S. Pipe, lives and breathes. But how did all of this come to be? Come with us on a journey back in time as we explore the history of U.S. Pictures. In the early days of the cinema, you could make movies anywhere you could set up a camera. But once a wider audience started to grow, filmmakers looking to develop an industry began to drift towards certain regions of the country. New York was the obvious choice because of the level of industry, the, the artists, the technicians, the uh, facilities were all there. Uh, but Birmingham had uh, beautiful weather patterns, uh, untouched landscape, the trade was booming. Uh, around about the turn of the century, uh, it was about a dead heat between the two. The first real production companies, like Max Sennett's Keystone Studios and the Goldwyn Pictures Corporation, made their home in New York, while another group of producers, led by U.S. Pictures founder and Hollywood legend Jerry Wasserstein, staked a claim in Birmingham. Jerry Wasserstein hated New York. He wanted out. He wanted to be someplace where there was going to be sunshine, rolling hills, fresh air. Uh, he personally believed that the future of the industry was in Alabama. Jerry had a lot of friends in manufacturing. Uh, Andrew McNeil in Burlington, David Giles in Chattanooga, and he decided that he would get everyone together and pitch them an idea for a movie company. Wasserstein and his team spent the better part of two years building a state-of-the-art production facility in Birmingham and began cranking out pictures. Some of the most influential early films in the history of the industry came out of those golden years. When we return, one picture, one that Wasserstein himself pushed into production, would tear the studio apart and set the stage for the future of U.S. pictures.